Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is a love connection message for you Pisces. I hope you're okay. I hope you're fine. I hope you're well. This reading for today is the next one for hours. Love connection, love advice for the Pisces friends out there, okay? What can I get for Pisces? What is the message for you guys, okay? In today's reading, I'm going to be looking at your overall, overall energy Pisces, okay? Hidden energy. Okay, the mutual energy between the two of you, your person's energy, their action, their reaction over the next 24 hours. And then I will get another um, um, mutual energy and then I will close it off with, um, with a set of three cards to give the predictive outcome and advice. And before I start, of course, I would like to acknowledge my subscribers. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming back, for tuning in. For guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you are interested and if you are keen. And um, if you would like to further support me, you know what to do, guys. All of the information is down in the description box below, okay? Um, in the description box below, guys, you would... Um, you would find the details of my Instagram account. Follow me there if you're interested and if you're keen. Check out um, www.sunshinego-essential.com. Link is down below. The manifestation miss is still available. This comes with free shipping worldwide, free digital astrology report, and we will send you a follow-up email on how to set the manifestation along with an exclusive access to our meditation music. Okay, So don't just buy this because you like me. Please use it because it's really cool in your ritual journey or ritual routine okay it grounds your energy it, there is one formulated for your sign and also we will be uploading um, a new product online it is the manifestation bracelet this is the moon magic bracelet we've soaked this two new moon and one full moon so we just uh, finished one full moon august 3 so this is now available you will have it soon this is the phoenix this is the peace uh, manifestation bracelet it comes with a free reading with the venetian card uh, reading so yeah check out the website soon i love it okay i love it and um your general reading for the month of august spices please have a look read it the link is down in the description box below okay so let me just ground my energy what is the message for Pisces over the next 24 hours? Love connection. Okay, cool. All right. So your overall energy is you've got the two of wands and the queen of pentacles. Okay. You want to action. You're waiting for your queen or your king to reply, to respond. There is an action and a waiting energy in here. Um, you were confused, but... You don't want to be stuck and confuse yourself further. So you will take an action, okay? You are more on... In, in, I get that, you know, Seven of Cups, you're overwhelmed, you're confused. So you're not going to tap in too much about the emotions. You're just going to, you know, straightforwardly ask something about someone, about a subject, about a matter. Um, I really get the Queen of Pentacles in here that time is the essence of the matter. Time is... You're running out of time. There is a bit of hurryness in your energy because I felt like the hidden energy is Seven of Cups and Knight of Cups. You are stuck in your head and in your emotions, asking yourself, talking to yourself, does this person miss me? Does this person love me? Do they have a feelings with me? So you are finally getting out of that energy of assessing, processing, and um, talking to yourself. Like, you know, this is hidden energy. You've been wondering about a certain answer to a question but you actually haven't put in the mist in, in the physical world the the action to ask the question so you are in an energy of wondering searching asking yourself and the answer is just out there it's a call away it's a text away and it's coming from your person so you are coming out of that energy and you're having the courage to speak to talk or to reply you're getting direct and there is a little bit of hurriness in here. And I also sense you're very prepared, okay? You're prepared into something. You are no longer will sit around and wait or you will be very direct into something uh, about a call or a text, a respond, and an opening of feelings as well. I like it, okay? You're going direct to the point. Um, let's tap into your person's energy, okay? What's their feelings, their thoughts, their action? So three of swords in reverse and then the ten of pentacles in reverse. So I get that this person 
um, they're no longer hurt, uh, they're no longer in pain, um, they made up their mind when it comes to a third party or multiple dating. I'm seeing an X in the Ten of Pentacles. I don't think there is a third party. If there was, they've crossed that out. So maybe that's one of your question is that do they have someone around? Do they date other people? Blah, blah, blah. They don't or they got rid of it. Um, they're okay. The healing between the two of you is it's been done. The forgiving. They're, they're coming out. They're really reaching to a point of okay energy i'm fine to talk i'm fine to reach out and i'm okay for us to come back to lovers okay your person have some questions towards you the lovers card seven of swords there were some sort of deceptiveness inconsistency that this person is willing to ask or clear things with you okay the fact that this person is calling or texting you or inviting you to see them it means that they want two things um they want to reconcile they want to connect reconnect they want to see if you guys could still pick up the you know where you left but before they do that um they want to know clearly if you if you're dating anybody or you're you know they they want to know specifically if you're available and they will explain their side as well so there is honestly um the mutual energy is king of swords there is going to be a logical talking that's going to happen okay there's some sort of call um a conversation a communication that would push through and the initial communication the theme of the communication is all about what happened to you what happened to me what do you want what do you want and clearing and defending their side you know it's more of why are you inconsistent why have you not replied you know things like that it's going to come to a surface okay this is yeah, this is not a heart-to-heart -heart talk, but you and your person is gonna through going through a series of question and answer portion, a Q and A portion, because if they're satisfied and you're satisfied, then the next uh, the next thing is to talk about the lovers. Okay, your person is coming through an energy that I still like you. Yep, yes, I still like you. I miss you. I love you, but I want to know something first before I go full time with the lovers energy. So be ready if you're the one who's gonna take an action or initiate some sort of talk or conversation make sure that you're ready with their question okay don't just call or text without having an agenda that's what i get it be prepared okay be prepared and don't miss this opportunity that you guys talk to the heart of the matter and the heart of the matter is that they have some explaining to do and you have some explaining to do. So this is a question and answer portion. Get ready with that because that's the key to the next level. Okay. And yeah, and um, Queen of Swords. So um, if you and this person keep hiding or not being honest, then this talk that you will have to deal with over the next 24 hours or plus two to three days it will it will go to waste okay it's not every day that we get a chance to talk to someone that we love and then we're trying to connect reconnect you know this opportunity is great for clarifying for having conversation for sorting for ironing out it's not yet love out there um love will follow the room the romantic energy will follow this talk is all about question and answer okay so don't just be friendly don't just talk about mundane or ordinary stuff talk about the issue and why it happened what's their explanation what's your explanation okay so that is the theme of your weekend and also you have to be honest okay don't hold back whatever you want to say, whatever you want to ask, because if there is a leftover of your question or of your feelings that you weren't able to put out there, then, you know, you will go back into cycle. Because it's it, this is predictive, you know, this is already a reminder to you, Pisces, that you, you've got to go bold, okay? You've got to be, you've got to be straight to the point on your question and your answer in order for the romantic energy, romantic, um, romantic, this lover's energy to, um, to escalate if there is something romantic in here it is showing in your person okay so that they they don't just come back or text you for nothing there's some sort of um gathering of information that they want to solidify if they're satisfied the lover's energy would flow through okay so good luck all right good luck on this talk be prepared be ready be honest just drain everything that you need to ask 
because this is a make it or break it situation for you for your love connection situation okay good luck guys i really like it okay and don't be impulsive don't be overly emotional use logic okay logic the thought process what is right for you what is right for them and also you know um yeah, don't process the emotional side, okay? Process the logical side of things. If, for example, they say that, oh, I was busy at work because I have this project. So I want you to really give it the benefit of the doubt. They, that, you know, this project is huge, so it might fake them really, um, sh you know, they might be short when it comes to reply or response. You know, give it the benefit of the doubt. Don't just, don't, because I'm really hearing, I'm hearing, I'm, I'm getting the word victim. Don't just think that you were, um, don't think it's all about you. But there, uh, there is a compromise. Find a compromise. This person did not come to you or did not reach out. They didn't call you to blame all of to you or, or them. It is a compromise, okay? Yeah, so I, yeah. So good luck on this connection. This Good luck on this conversation. It's a make it or break it, okay? Break a leg. And be honest, really. Be sincere on what you really want, okay? I'd suggest to do it personal if you can, all right? Thank you, guys. I will see you soon, and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.